Hello, Andrew here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my post match of Liverpool versus Southampton in the Premier League. Well, um, so let's get on to. I mean, there was a couple of incidents that you can talk about, um, but um, let's go with the first half. I mean, Southampton were brilliant first half, they had so many chances. Um, Allison had to make some good saves, and we had to defend and block and. You, they they literally were on the front foot. Um, one incident that got completely missed, and I'm you know I'm guessing VAR don't look at, but there was a pass back um, from Robertson to Allison. Now, how that's been missed, I don't know. I'm an honest person. I'm a Liverpool, yes, I'm a Liverpool fan, but how that's been missed, it's a clear pass back. Um, and yeah, as I say, Southampton were absolutely brilliant first off, but they didn't take their chances. Um, and you know, if you don't take your chances against Liverpool, you're going to get punished. Now, the first goal, um, Southampton are actually on the attack. Um, Danny Ings tries to go through two defenders. Now, is he clipped? Is he not? I would have to properly look on match of the day. Um, I, it looks like he just falls in between them, um, I'm not too sure, it, it, it's a difficult one, but after that, Liverpool, as we do, counter-attack, um, and then Oxley chamberlain um, I think the goalkeeper's unsighted, scores, as I say, it does get checked by VAR, they don't see anything wrong, but I would have to look on match of the day, um, for me, I'm not, I'm not too sure. But once we scored the first, there was, um, I mean, Southampton still kept coming, but once we scored the first, they there was no real major chance that they had um, in the second half. I mean, they had a few corners and that lot, but it was Liverpool that was on the assertive. And then, before you know it, um, I mean, we did score. Salem um, scored, but he's offside. It gets ruled out for offside, right, rightfully ruled out. Um but again, um, basically, Southampton give the ball away, um, you know, and a, a ball is played to Firmino onside. Firmino, what he does, uh, he's just fantastic. Um, cuts inside, sees Jordan Henderson, plays the ball back. Henderson takes the touch, finishes 2-0. Um, and from there, Liverpool just controlled the game. I mean, yeah, they had, like, as I say, they had a couple of close moments, but not, like I say, nothing, nothing that you could go all oh, Southampton could score again. But it's it was literally they they went for it. I, I'll give I'll, I'll give Southampton a lot of credit, especially the first half. But I think they used up a lot of energy, and and the thing is, Liverpool are one of the most fittest teams in the league right now. Um, and so you could tell Southampton started getting tired, um, and then the the third goal, Allison uh, play a, again a key contribution from Allison plays a lovely ball to Henderson, who puts Mo Salah through. He's one on one. He's not going to miss, and yeah, three 0 Liverpool. Um, and yet yeah, the game's just getting. I mean, Minamino should have sc scored one. I, I mean, it could have been four 0 before it was four 0 but Cater gets in the way. Um, uh, like Salah plays a lovely ball through to Minamino. Like they sort of run into each other, and Cater put um, Minamino puts it just over the bar. But eventually, the fourth goal does come. Um, Firmino fights his way, basically gets himself into the box, pass it across the ball. Um, couple of touches. I'm not too sure if it's Salah's goal or not, but it might be. Um, because uh, it, it sort of bobbles, but flip it, it goes over Alex McCarthy and four 0 game. It was game over before. I mean, twenty two points clear now of Man City before they play tomorrow. Uh, we now have to win eight games out of our remaining thirteen. Um, no, hold on. I think it's something like that anyway. Um. It might even be seven. I think it was eight games. It was nine. No, I, th I think we only have to win seven games that remaining in 13 to be declared champions. And all depends on what Man City do tomorrow. I mean, you expect them to beat Tottenham tomorrow. Um, 
a 22 point gap there's surely that's not being breached with 13 games to go anyway um i will as i say give southampton credit a couple of decisions that didn't go their way the pass back the penalty um um but other than that once liverpool scored yeah as i say there was only one winner um so liverpool now have a break well, I say they have a break. The youngsters are going to play against Shrewsbury in the FA Cup. Um, but they now have a break till the 15th of February where they face Norwich. And, and they need, you know, it's definitely needed. Players to get their... I mean, Marley will be back by then. Um, so, yeah, um, very happy with the result. Uh, as I say, I will give credit to Southampton where it was due. They troubled us a lot in the first half. But you don't take your chance against Liverpool, you get punished. Anyway... Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll speak to you all soon, bye bye.